Okay, good morning, all of you, class five. I welcome you all to lesson number um, nine. And the first day of uh, third week, today we are going to discuss narrative writing. Right, this is our lesson number nine. Right, so objectives of today's class is like what narrative paragraph is, how to organize a narrative paragraph and the strategies to improve your writing skill. Now, what actually is narrative writing or what is it? So basically it is uh, what you call the creative writing. So narrative paragraph is something that tells us a story so when i give you a topic suppose if i ask you to write a paragraph or to to you know write something that how have you just spend your summer holidays or um what is your favorite book right or something like that so you are just going to construct a story there right now it could be a tale it could be a novel it can be on account of one's life suppose if, if you're just talking about yourself the story even in narrative paragraph should be arranged chronologically means in a proper sequence right that is in the order in which they have happened clear now uh, next is almost uh, we uh, we all narrate something in our life since we are in the habit of reading books right so books help you to construct proper sentences or to you know just maintain a proper writing skill now therefore a narrative paragraph must have the following things in it it needs to have a central idea okay, what the story is basically about means that either the story is about a person it's about a third person it's about what sort of a happening uh, you need to point out the main characters of the story that is suppose we uh, talk about a very famous story that is of red riding hood now what were the main characters of that story it was obviously the red riding by herself it was a wolf and the grandmother these were the three main characters of the story conflict means some kind of a difference or a fight complication means a problem right and uh, the plot consists of climax and how you are going to resolve that problem or that fight that is called a plot clear so a plot is like the main sequence of all those things which are going on in the story suppose if we talk about the red riding hood so one day red riding hood just decided to go and see her grandmother right and on her way uh, she just began to um, collect all the the fruits and the, the things from that garden now all these things all these happenings are basically the plot adequate description means that there has not to be because when you are you are writing a story you are, you are basically trying to do that in order to create a picture or in order to describe that particular need to have a proper description adequate means enough right there has to be no confusion in the minds of the readers at a setting means you need to define your where exactly the story is going on suppose if we talk about red riding hood so the story was going on first at the place of red riding hood so when she just woke up after that in the forest after that at the house of her grandma things they, they are going on is called the setting now there are two point of views over here the story can either be in the first person or it can take place with the third person point of view now what is the first person point of view is like if you're talking about yourself if you are writing a story and you are going to share your own experience so that is the first person point of view where you are using I or me, 
right? Or it's like when you are going to use he, she, and they. When you are talking about some other person, suppose if I start writing the story of, of uh, Red Riding Hood, okay, so I'm basically this Red Riding Hood is a third person, that is I'm going to use she there, right? I have uh, the, these two paragraphs uh, with the first person and the third person point of view, now the first person point of view. I walked home, I have used I here since I'm, uh, school today with my friends we stopped for ice cream I, I had vanilla it's my favorite when i got up this morning i brushed my teeth then i got dressed and ate my breakfast so now comes the third person point of view like when i'm talking about a third person when i'm talking about someone else so ted plays on a baseball team he loves to play with his team he has a game next week his coach thinks he's a good baseball to escape. She hoped that a prince would rescue her. Her wish came true. He came and took her to his castle. Now, the first paragraph is basically about a boy whose name is Ted and uh, who likes to play baseball. And the next paragraph is about a girl who was a princess and that she got locked up in a tower and she always just hoped um for for a prince to come and save her life now organize consist of three types the background the main the main uh para and the last one is a conclusion now the background take information first of all you need to have a topic sentence suppose a uh, red riding hood that is a topic sentence a topic sentence means the name of the story, the title of the story. Now then you have to just give a brief description of what the story or something is basically about. Just like in here, in this para, right? I have said that Ted plays on a baseball team. Okay, the story is about Ted, right? Who is a baseball player. So th that is what you call okay, what the story is basically about. Who it is about now as in the previous para the story was basically about dead in the very famous story of red riding hood the story is about a girl whose name was red riding hood he gets suppose i am going to start my story by saying that there was a girl whose name was red riding hood full stop now that is what what uh okay who the story is basically about the you have to highlight the main character of the story now when it happens just like we say okay one morning right on um one midsummer night okay when the story is basically okay, when it okay when the story is happening uske baad where it happens it means okay, the the story is happening at what place you have to set a setting suppose if it is uh ted plays a baseball okay now the story over here is happening where it is happening in a field right where the match can take place now in the next paragraph the princess was locked in the tower here the story is happening in the tower right so you have to set a setting uh what where is the source of the narration now the topic sentence of a narrative paragraph does not start the narration it basically establishes the purpose it does not tell only a, a story but also the reader's point of view therefore writing a strong topic sentence is important what well, what the this this means is your topic sentence it has to be much eye catchy right it has to be a proper one just to make the reader or to compel him to read it more after that we have the main part which means the story the story or uh the story happens at three different stages the beginning the middle and the end now the beginning of the story tells what happens first in the story it can be the problem which makes the story or something happen you just have to tell okay, what is going on 
the middle of the story it tells the main events or important activities right just like in red riding hood how she was going through the forest and how the that um you know deadly wolf he was just uh hiding behind the, the tree and he was looking at her right the way she was moving through the forest the end of the story is like the it tells the final e events the result or what brings the end of the stories right so you just have to finish it you have to conclude your whole story right and if you have a moral lesson you are going to state it in the last para now the conclusion the concluding sentence the writer can either restate the topic sentence give a concluding remark make a prediction about the story or make a suggestion so it actually depends say, on what type of a story are you going to write right so if you are going to write a story that gives a which can either give a concluding remark or which can make a suggestion to the one who is reading it because you you have stated a problem so you are going to suggest ke what you think now or what you have actually concluded from this story and how is someone just trying to solve such problems which you have given in the story this is your conclusion where well, the things would be much more clear if you just go through this sample which i've selected keep an eye on the sky now this is actually your topic sentence as well right keep an eye I write for what purpose? Now over here, I was in gym class when my teacher Okay, I, I was in gym class when my teacher suggested we go outside and uh softball is basically the kind but the only difference that you play baseball with a very hard and a huge ball but softball is actually uh, played with a very uh, small and a soft kind of a ball so as we made our way out to the field my stomach slowly turned into a giant knot of fear knot of fear means that that very awkward uh, feeling of fear that you have in your belly right when you are just trying to do something which you don't like and the writer describes an experience that happened to him or her so in the very first paragraph the writer is just just trying to set a background okay what actually is going on right in the story now softball is just not my game i have a knack for always getting hit in the head by the ball it doesn't matter where i'm standing the ball just seems to find me so the writer says the softball is not just my game means i don't like playing softball because i i by the ball and it doesn't matter where i'm standing the ball just seems to to find me so the writer describes the problem the problem in the story is that he does not want to play softball right but as his teacher just has organized a match right so they have to play and now that he is worried that how he is going to deal with this situation my teammates gave me a glove because you you have to wear those uh, very huge gloves right and my teammates gave me a glove and put me way out in the left field so he says that they asked me to stand in the left side of the field which was way out or which was quite far from the main field so i did not complain i just wanted to make sure i knew when gym class ended so i wouldn't be left behind that uh thing so he says that i just wanted this whole thing to end right so that i could relax and just go out of the field so nothing happened the first three innings innings is the rounds or the laps right that you take i guess there are a total 
सेवन और नाइन ठीक है लैप्स और राउंड्स इन दिस सॉफ्टबॉल गेम सो वेल थिंग्स हैपन बट नॉट इन माय लिटिल पार्ट ऑफ द सॉफ्टबॉल फील्ड सो ही से मेन फील्ड एंड नथिंग गेम ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द फील्ड वेयर आई वाज स्टैंडिंग आई स्टार्टेड डे ड्रीमिंग सो ही सेड दैट आई जस्ट uh started to lose focus and the next thing i knew he i heard the sound of a valve right so he says that as i was standing on the left side of the field all of a sudden i heard the sound of a ball that came through right and that too with a very high speed i put up my glove to protect my head and an amazing thing happened he says that he just raised his arm he just raised his hand right just to protect his head but luckily right the ball just uh, got into his hands right i caught the ball in my glove not only did i catch the ball but i helped my team to win so this is how yahan pe the writer has basically ended the whole story so the writer describes all these things in proper sequence the writer gives details to help the reader form a picture right so you have to mention each and every detail here in your story the last one the writer ends his or her story by sharing what he or she learned from his experience so agar hum piche jaye yahan pe to what did we say ki the conclusion it the topic sentence restate the topic sentence will be that always keep your eyes on the sky right so give a concluding remark make a prediction about the story or like when you suggest something so over here the writer is suggesting something which he has basically learned i was a hero to my classmates for the rest of the day and i learned something i may not always see the flying balls come chance and try to catch one so he says that with this uh like how how i caught the the ball that too quite luckily i was a hero right to all my classmates and i learned something that no matter how much fearful you are right you have to at least take a chance see he says that i may not always see the the flying balls that come my way i took a chance right and i was much successful in catching that ball so never miss a chance uh this is how you have to sequence your story in a proper sequence uh, means a proper order and th this is how you have to mention it now i need to um mention one more thing here that the story that which you are trying to tell has to be given in just like here my teammates gave me a glove gave is the second form of where put me way out in left field i did not complain did is a past tense i just wanted to make sure wanted second form of verb uh i just wanted to make sure i knew when gym class ended again past tense nothing happened happened again past tense so you have to use past tense when you are trying to tell a, a story but look at the last para now i was a hero to my classmates for the rest of the day again past tense and i learned something now learned is the second form of verb so this is also past tense i may not always see the flying balls that come my way i may not always see present tense but i can always take a chance and try to catch one again present tense so when you are you are just trying to suggest something na that particular suggestion right or that particular moral it has to be given in present tense because any kind of a thing which you are trying to suggest to a person or if you are trying to maintain or mention a universal fact it has to be given in present tense 
which is why these two these last two lines of this paragraph right they are mentioned in present tense coming to the very last slide uh, write a paragraph on the following to practice the skill of narrative writing so what you have to do is you, you just have to write this paragraph this is not basically your homework it is for your own practice have you ever received a gift that you did not like how did you react so you have to just mention the story by using these steps right suppose you just have, have to um firstly mention the main setting that where something happened what was going on right and um when did you just get that gift was that a birthday party or what which person gave, gave you that gift and uh, how did you actually react to it this is it and uh, tomorrow we shall be doing that how are we going to construct our um sentences in narrative writing which verbs are we going to use which tenses are we going to use what are the main tips and tricks right and i just want you all to go through these slides and uh, we shall be doing it more comprehensively tomorrow this is it take care and good luck have a nice day allah hafiz